I cannot beat a stalker horror game. And when I say that, I'm mainly talking about Outlast. So I have pretty much um, all the Outlast games, except for the newest one, which I believe is Outlast, Outlast Trials. Um, but yeah, I can just not, <laughs> not beat these games, uh, mainly because <laughs> I guess I'm too much of a chicken. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to explain why like just the points of why I cannot do this. First of all, the character you play as is just completely hopeless. All you have <laughs> is your camcorder, which has some of the worst battery life I've ever seen in my life. And see, in other games, like other horror games, your character can, you know, shoot an enemy or at least punch an enemy, right? <laughs> But in the Outlast games, you have no hope. Um, the whole time, you're just hiding and running for your life. Um, and yeah, it, the whole game is just pitch black. I mean, if you don't have the night vision going on with your camera, you basically cannot see anything. Uh, unless you, I guess, unless you turn up the actual brightness of the game. But I mean, you know, we, we gotta go for it the full experience <laughs> so you you gotta play the game on i guess the recommended brightness when you're setting up you know the game um yeah so in this game you're basically in a uh, mental hospital with just absolute insane people and let me tell you this game will make you <laughs> develop trust issues because <laughs> there are some weirdos in this game or just minding their own business, you know, watching TV, um, doing absolutely nothing. And then there's some people who you just look at them funny and they'll, they'll chase you to the ends, the ends of the earth. Um, and also in this game, bad things are just always happening to you. I mean, there's like nothing in this game that goes your way. Well, I mean, of course, <laughs> you, you end up surviving. Well, at least I think I haven't beaten the game. I, I have seen a, a, a walkthrough of it, but I mean, that was probably years ago, so I don't remember the actual ending of the game. So I'm thinking you survive. <laughs> if you don't, then it's like, well then. Um, but yeah, yeah, bad things are just always happening. And it's like, you cannot catch a break in this game. It's like, if you ever played uh, The Last of Us 2, it's pretty much like that. Um, literally, literally just nothing, nothing good happens. I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't know, I think Resident Evil 7, you get your hand chopped off, um, and this one, it might just be a finger, so, um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, also, why is everyone pretty much naked in this game? I mean, is that really necessary? Because <laughs> I don't know how I feel about <laughs> being chased by you know, inmates who are out here in their birthday suit, you know? It just does not make the experience that much better. Um, if they were clothed, then, you know, I, I could probably beat the game, you know, with no issue. But nope, um, of course, they have to be running out, you know, <laughs> running at you. Um, you know, with their, their helicopter at full blast, if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, also, <laughs> The character you play as, oh my goodness, he has actual breathing issues. Now, to be fair, I've never, like I said, I've never been chased by, you know, these people, right? Um, also, one of the guys is super huge, right? Also, there's like a crazy doctor, I think, right? So, you know, I can't really complain, but this, the, the protagonist, if you're hiding under a bed or in a locker, or just, you know, wherever, right? In, in your hiding. This guy literally breathes so loud. And it, <laughs> it's like, can this guy just calm down? Because if, you know, if the main character can just calm down, then, you know, at least I will be able to calm down a bit, right? But nope. This guy will literally let out some of the biggest breaths ever. And yeah, I don't know how he just does not have like you know one of those things that people with asthma use i don't know what's called um but yeah 
in this game you gotta use batteries right for your camera um so you can use your night vision and also i think there's like something where you can like use your camera for like sound to see if somebody's like near you or something i don't know if that's the second game um but anyways yeah you you use your night vision and that just absolutely drains your battery and like i said it's super super pitch black right so you need batteries but this game does a good job at giving you a battery like last second like literally like if you're if your camera's about to die it gives you a battery right when your camera is about to die um maybe i'm just not good at managing my batteries i mean i do a decent job i feel like because i'm over here like superstitious <laughs> playing most of the game <laughs> in the dark like you know because i don't want to use my night vision um i'll use it occasionally of course <laughs> but yeah i mean the batteries are nowhere to be seen i'm pretty sure if you play on a easier easier difficulty then you'll have you know more access to batteries but i played on i think medium <laughs> i don't know anyways also i always run into a dead end because i have no idea where i'm going uh, i'm just running down a corridor and then you think a door can open and then of course it can't so the guy chasing you just comes up from behind and starts beating you until you're dead so that's fine um i will say <laughs> i think the only way to pro get progress in this game is just i mean it really is just trial and error you just get caught get beaten to death and then that will of course release some of the <laughs> the stress because you get used to it so i guess um if you're scared like me <laughs> when playing this game pretty much just keep getting caught until until it just becomes like nothing and yeah i mean the enemies in this game are just super quick um they're just like always behind you um once you get caught it's pretty much over uh, of course you can try try to juke them but i don't know I, I don't have the best luck when it comes to that and yeah i mean i can just not be a stalker horror game because like i said in the beginning i guess i'm just scared i am like just a chicken <laughs> i should probably just man up <laughs> and like i said just keep on getting caught until i just get used to it but i mean you know it's nice to have a horror game right that i haven't beaten just because i'm too scared of it right so maybe i'll get back to playing it and hopefully i can beat it one day but you know what's the rest right it's it's just another game in the backlog and it's one of those horror games where it's like if i'm actually scared of it then it's doing its job you know so yeah i mean no rest right and yeah hopefully i can be outlast and then the rest of the games i don't know about trials um i don't know if you have to play that with other players um i mean if you play with other players of course i don't think that would be as scary and i think in that game you can maybe fight back I'm, I'm not sure um and then so yeah once i'm done with the outlast games hopefully i can jump into like alien isolation uh i don't know if you can fight back in that one but i heard the the ai for the alien is like like really good <laughs> so yeah that that would be interesting but yeah that's pretty much why I cannot be any stalker horror games. 